Hello, hello, hello everyone and happy Halloween. It is Monday, which means it's time for Art Snacks, a teeny tiny little snippet of art to break up your Monday blues. We have a ton happening in here today. So while I'm talking in the introduction, I'm going to just start snipping off. You can see I just printed our top 10 contributors uh, for the last little bit. Plus for the giveaway, I have everybody else's name, right? I didn't remove anybody but the winner that we've had before. And we've had um, Pam and Shelly. So I want to be sure I'm just going to let you two ladies know that if I draw your name again. <laughs> um, oh, and we had Cheryl. Yeah. Um, if I draw your name again, I won't be giving you another mini art giveaway. We're going to try to mix it up and let everybody have a fun little shot at that, right? Oh, I can see some people hopping on. If you're hopping on, let me know. Just say, give me a hi. Let's make sure things are back to normal. Last week we had some issues. All right, I think I can see some comments coming up there. I just don't want to cut my fingers off. Okay, so we have these. And then, did you ladies see? Did you see my post? My post over in the group. Okay, in the group free mixed media and art journaling with Sugar Hill. Hi, Martha. How are you, dear? All right. Over in that group, most of you are probably in there. You should be in there because that's where we've been sharing all of the mini art challenge. That's where, oh, we do everything in there, right? So in that group for the mini art challenge, I challenged you guys over the weekend to post yourself with your mini art right, with your mini art, and use the hashtag I rock. So hashtag I rock in mini art sugar hill. And when you do that, you're entered in for another giveaway. Now I may let the I rock giveaway run until the end of the day. I might let it because it's technically still October. We're technically still in our challenge, right? Oh, don't worry. Listen, Lainey will have to take a shower before the photo. Listen, my photo, so on the main post, and it's uh, under the featured tab there. Um, my photo is terrible. Doesn't matter. It's our, it's our sweet little group of wonderful people. Let me just tell you guys, let me show you um, really quick. I have so, I can't wait to show you. Um, I can't, a little sneak peek to November, right? I'm not going to give, I'm going to give a lot away, but not too much away, uh, before tomorrow. Let's get, let me get this up and moving because I want to show you when you are in the group, what happens? What happens when you pull up? When you're in the group, okay? So when you're in the group, so right here is the group, and I go to that little search bar button, right? The little magnifying glass. So, and then I'm going to type in hashtag I rock because each and every one of you totally rocked this challenge. You do not have to have all 43 prompts done to uh, rock. You rocked if you did three prompts. But look what happens. So right now, hashtag I rock. I'm going to hold this back. And I'm just going to show you. Look at that. Look at, oh, wait. Slow loading, slow loading. Makes me a little nervous, but do you see all the people? All right, all of our beautiful, oh, no, well, not all of our beautiful creatives. This iPad is so old, sometimes it just takes a little minute. But all of our beautiful creatives that have so far posted the, in the I Rock Challenge. So that is why I have you guys hashtag some things. Because when you hashtag it, I just type it in the search bar and bam, there you are. 
So, so far, here's the list, my quick little chicken scratch down. I'm gonna give you to the end of today for the I Rock Challenge. However, we are still going to do the last mini art challenge giveaway for our top contributors. Okay, I'm not gonna do that right now. Hello, hello, Lori, let's see, there are a few of you on. Hi, Cassie and Yvonne. Oh, Cheryl, thank you so very much for the stars. That is awesome sauce. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm always so humbled when you guys send me stars or uh, donate or send me Starbucks gift cards. <laughs> uh, Lainey, you're so funny. Um, let's see. Yes, I know, I have a lot of Cheryl's. Okay, I'm not gonna stand forever and ever right there on that because I wanna show you. Okay, mini art challenge. Don't forget, on Thursday, you received an e email from me. If you're in the mini art challenge, you received an email with a coupon code. That workshop is going to be released tomorrow Maybe Thursday, Thursday, nope, tomorrow, because it's going to run the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th. Don't worry if you can't make it live. It is available, it is there, but we're doing three little mini journals using our um, mini art, okay? So I have three journal ideas. How to keep your journal prompts, or how to keep your mini art together. You could use that for tags, you can use it for ATCs, you can use the three ways I'm gonna show you to journal with anything okay so that class is going to be released tomorrow you'll see it in your email you'll see it all over social media you will uh, probably receive information in the text chain so that's coming too i'm so excited about that workshop finally november prompts i love november Typically, I do 21 journal prompts, right? But we've kind of switched it up. We had the, the full week kind of mix and match. Then the last two months, we have done the mini art challenge. November, we're gonna make a journal. We are going to make a journal and you are going to have 30 prompts, but they are um, just a little, um, you might be writing a little bit more in your prompts and doing art, and there's all different ways to do it. Now I am going to show you uh, the little journal, all right, that we're going to do really quickly here. All right, I have Bristol paper. I love Bristol paper, it's 100 pound. Um, it's, it's super smooth, so it's, so it's different from watercolor in that it's very, very smooth. I like it for a journal cover, okay? And then for the inside, I went with mixed media paper because I'm gonna wanna do a lot of different things in here. So, um, so mixed media paper, I have you know, the notebook here. And let me just show you really quickly trying to make sure I have everything showing nice nice there we go okay so an easy easy way if you have the spiral bound you know how annoying these are right look at super simple super easy open it up to your one page stick your ruler there and just yank up all right way easier than tearing off the page then tearing off the perforation now don't get me wrong I also like to leave these perforated. I'm gonna give you one of my favorite mixed media tips here. I'm gonna totally divulge one of my favorite tips here. All right, so in the back, let me just do this, here we go. Well, let me just show you this way really fast. One of my favorite ways. And the reason I like to, good grief, I'm going, I'm going lefty here, bear with me. Going lefty. <laughs> okay, see this? Oh, well, there we go, there we go. Okay, so this right here, without, 
you can pull these apart, okay, and take this off. And what happens, oh, I'm gonna have to pull it all the way around. I'll show you later. But these pieces, even when they're torn or not torn, this is a awesome little piece of um, mixed media painted and then look at the texture and, and dimension that can get left from that. So I know that was like a little kind of very random side note, but seriously, it's one of my favorite things. So typically, I suppose I do it after it's all done, I cut it off and then I have all these strips with these perfect squares, favorite. Okay, so now you have your mixed media paper. Mixed media paper is just simply 90 pound paper, right? I have a paper cutter. I do like this big one a lot. I, I'm going to have to have it um, sharpened. You can use, if, if you want, just use um, some plain printer paper. I probably have some, well, here's some plain printer paper if you want. You can use lined paper. You could use any kind of paper that you wanted. I chose mixed media paper because I'm going to be doing a lot of art, a lot of layering while I'm working my 30 days of November. If you want to use some of your, um, you know, do a, do a, some jelly press, Pulls, do some other papers. You can see I've been playing with metallics here. Um, these would make great papers if you want to kind of journal more and you already have backgrounds, right? So you could very easily just use these as your pages inside. We're gonna make a signature. And if you have never journaled with me before, it's, it's a passion of mine, I love it. This is a very simple journal that I'm gonna show you here. My girls in my membership are gonna get a little bit more detail. We're gonna do a little bit more. They're gonna have all the, all the deets. But for the cover, I use Bristol paper. It, like I said, it's only 100 pound, but it's, it's smooth, um, it's thick enough, and I really like it as a cover. The inside are mixed media papers. I have, for 30 days, right, I have 15, well, no, I have, it's not even 15 because there's two per each. So how many did I end up doing? And they don't use the front and the back. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Okay, eight because fold it now, 16 on the inside plus the front and the back, okay? This is the Bristol paper uh, just done on my jelly plate. And it's cut 12 by six, okay? I love a square six by six book, okay? So you're just gonna use your cover. You could use a cereal box. You could use your 140 pound watercolor paper. You can use tag board. Um, you could use mixed media paper. It doesn't matter, you can use anything, okay? Pick the size you want. I love square, I love a six by six size. This is six by six, which means that my papers inside are going to be cut just a bit smaller than six, than the, and I'm gonna trim off the 12, okay? We need to remove a little tiny bit so that when they fold, number one, you wanna give yourself some space in the top and the bottom. And I like to give myself some space on the outer edge so that when it's closed, I only see the cover, okay? So that's, that's your second little tip. Trim your inside pages a little bit smaller. Now, typically if I'm working with coffee dyed papers or papers that I, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm peeking in, papers that I tend to uh, coffee dyed, just writing papers, vintage papers, those are thinner, right? They're easier as a whole signature. Remember, a signature is the booklet of papers that are sewn into the cover, okay? 
in that signature, when it's just paper, I can easily put the whole signature in here and trim it down. I, on my trimmer, I can't, I can't cut two pieces. I have to do each one individually. And you can see here how they're all sandwiched together. And I still have a few that are just a little bit bigger, right? It's not, it doesn't matter. If it bothers you, if you want it perfect, then you trim down. If you're like me and you're all over the place, don't worry about trimming down. I mean, I did trim them a little bit. There were some, because of course, the further I get to the inside, it's pushing out. This is a pretty thick, pretty thick signature with eight pieces of um, mixed media paper. But it's, it's very doable. It's just that some of the pages, especially in the middle, right? I want, I want kind of the shorter ones. Doesn't bother me though. I put tags and ribbons and stuff all over the place. So I like the dimension. I like the diversity. But there, so see, you fold them in half. So you have your cover, you have your eight pages. You are going to put them together. Okay, and you're gonna make sure they're nice and fitted. And then you're gonna put them in your book and you're gonna pay attention which side you like for your cover. You don't even have to, to cover. I'll still do so much to the front of this, but um, for pretty purposes, I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, a nice little jelly, jelly printed fun on the cover. So this is just, that's all, I just played with some, oh, there's all kinds of things in here. We're going to make sure everything fits the way we like it. I'm gonna send this to the side. Now listen, do not throw away the extras. If you have extras, however you have it, you might have, I mean, I just grabbed my nine by 12, had papers left over. Um, I'll use these every single little last piece. You think that's not going in as a signature somewhere or becoming a journal? Think again. Okay, so we have that. I'm not a measurer. You're gonna see that here in a second. Um, I'm just gonna use the back side of my Bristol. You wanna put something underneath your journal. Have a pokey, have a pokey thingy. <laughs> I will look, let me double check and see if anybody's asking questions. I have this sitting right in front of me so I don't forget. I'm probably going to forget, but I don't want to forget. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me um, come in and just double check <laughs> our comments sometimes. This is so exciting. Hi, Char, Pam, Benita, Tracy. Oh my goodness, all of my lovelies are on here today. You guys rock. Happy, happy Halloween. We had a big, um, a big party. Uh, Luke, my 16 year old, had a party here over the weekend on Saturday. And we decorated, like, I, I, it was in the garage and outside, you know, and they had a fire. They were playing volleyball and basketball and, um, the whole inside of the garage, I hung black uh, tablecloths because <laughs> there's not a plain wall in our garage. Our garage is very used, right? Part of it, quarter of it is the, the boys' workout area. Then we have all of the sport equipment and the smelly shoes, and then we have tools and all that. So yeah, anyways, okay. Some of you have seen me do this before. Um, you can use waxed twine. Like if you get yourself, if you love to make journals, go to Amazon and order yourself a journal making kit. I will post one in here um, in the live comments, um, you know, with an Amazon link to, to my store. If you'd like to use that, you can. Um, they're not very expensive. At least last time I looked, they weren't very expensive. And if you like to make journals, you'll get your use out of it. You don't need anything extravagant. Uh, you can use twine. You can use um, floss. You know how I should sit there like that with that pulled put into my ass. Dollar store twine. Um, I think because I'm going with a fall 
theme, a November theme. It's not even fall, just November. And November is like that cozy transition, right? Um, and natural materials. So I'm using the, the twine. Okay. And you're gonna want a couple of binder clips or any kind of clip, really. I love my big gigantic binder clips. So here's what we do. You get that baby tucked in there. I have six minutes left, ha ha, we can do it. You get that baby tucked right in to the back of that, okay? And then you line up how you want and you see I'm just kind of, I could pull them all to the bottom, I could pull them all to the top or I can kind of pick in between. The, the biggest part you want is you wanna make sure that you are tucked tight in there. And then once you're good, you're gonna just clip and clip, okay? And you just, you're all tucked in there. Using clips just now, I'm not worried, okay? Some of you are going to want to measure. You're gonna want the perfect center, some of you. I may sometimes mark the center, um, and then I kind of just judge where I'm going to go in the middle. I don't worry about perfect measurements. I just marked three measurements there. Now, when you do this part, you wanna make sure you don't just have your table underneath um, the, an old book, because it goes nicely through book pages. An old book, a um, pad of paper, a um, measuring board. But you're just going to take your owl all, I always say owl. <laughs> I know it's not an owl. All right, and you're gonna poke it through and then you're gonna just bring that through. And we have it. And I know I need a fairly decently sized hole. Okay, so again, finding my spot and I pull it up just a bit so that I can make sure that I'm getting in where I want and then get it through and push. And one more, and then I'll show you how we sew it together. And we're gonna be close. I might go a couple minutes over. You know, always watch the replay and remember, if you're watching the replay, let me know with hashtag replay. Okay, so we have those done. And I'm just gonna come back this way and poke these through just to make sure. It's very simple binding technique here. Okay, there we go. We have our three holes. Next, let me just do this so it stops. Let's attempt it with some twine, okay? Here, here, Alexa, stop. Um, here's the trick to this. Your, th your thread is three Lewis, and that's gonna be more than enough of your spine, okay? Then you decide. Do you want your tie? Do you want your the spot where you're gonna tie it off? In the middle of your book, sometimes it's kind of really cool and decorative, um, or do you want it on the outside? You decide, that's how you start, okay? And you can either any which way, any which way. I'm going to put this on the outside uh, just because I can tell you if I would have painted this page first, and this was all painted and done, I probably would have tied it in the middle because sometimes that can make a great spread in your journal. I'm gonna run it this way. So through the middle. Mm -mm -mm. My needle on my thread and my twine because I'm using thicker twine. It's gonna take a minute and some patience to come through here. All right, and I'm just gonna pull so that I have some left. Then I'm gonna go to the bottom and I'm gonna go through, okay? So to the bottom, I'm gonna fight just a smidge and I'm gonna come in here, okay? Just like that. So we're back out on the outside. Here's the hardest part about this 
and it's not hard at all. Hold, see how my hand, I've got this and I've got the twine held down. I've got this side and I've got that twine held down so that I can come in through my hole, pull it through and not disturb. I don't want, it's gonna create some big problems if I put this string, you know, through the other string. Make sense? Okay, so now we've got that. We go to the top and through. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, now here's our middle. Okay, and here. When we come back to the outside, we're just gonna come through the loop that we've done. And now we're going to, now I will tell you, it's super easy with wax twine, a little bit harder with a rougher material. I'm gonna get rid of my needle. And now is when we start to pull. I can get rid of the clips. Everything's sewn in, nothing's going anywhere. But we want to make sure that we have it tight, okay? We wanna make sure that we have a good pull, which means when we come into the inside, it should be pulled so tight, but not too tight, not tight that it starts to tear our corners, but tight enough that it's a good tar string, okay? No pull, just a little twang. That's what we want. Don't pull too hard, you'll rip your paper. All right, and then once you have that, because we have it around that outside, Right, we're gonna make our knot. And we're gonna tie one way. So I'm gonna just, you know, just a knot like you would. And then tie the opposite way. So that went under and through. This one now is going to come the reversed. And that should make a square knot, which just kind of says that's never gonna come out. Now, if I decide to tie a bow, just get rid of that. Whatever I decide to do, I'm not 100% sure right now, but there, my friends, is your November journal. You have your inside cover. You have your front page, which I did not count as the 30 days. My 30 days starts one, two, okay? All the way back to 30. So I have 30 pages of each prompt challenging you typically it's 21 it's 30 this month and then we have the back cover the back inside cover and the back page you do you but there you have it eight pages in the middle a cover sewn together later tonight i will post i'll give it to you a little bit earlier this today this month typically they don't post till the first right 8 a.m on the first, I'll give it to you guys tonight. You, I will throw you the November prompt list. All right, so in the meantime, make your little journal. All right, now creatives, you can do this simple, but I also have another, we're just gonna do a few other little things. Um, so hang in there unless you, you know, make my lots. All right, now, mini arts challenge. Again, if you haven't taken a minute, if you haven't taken a minute to go into the group, free art journaling, um, mixed media and art journaling with Sugar Hill. Um, and if any of you are on and can share that link right now, that would be awesome in the comments. Um, but don't worry about it. Uh, so those of you that aren't over there, you can just click that link. That's where we're sharing everything. And in that share, right, in that group, is the hashtag, I rock, I rock, and hashtag mini art sugar hill. If you did five, two, 22, or all 43 mini art prompts, you hold those cards up in front of you ladies and you snap a selfie and be proud because you totally did art. You rocked, you did the challenge, you, you put, you put yourself out there. You shared, it's amazing. Don't be afraid. And if you're really, if you're really, really shy, look at, take the picture like this, just with your eyes above, or like this. It doesn't matter, 
or you know but get yourself in there and snap a little picture i will wait until tonight thank you lori posted in group posted the group okay i think i've got it mixed up are you guys ready for the last mini art challenge and then we'll do the i rock later tonight or maybe tomorrow morning or maybe during Tag It Tuesday tomorrow. It's Tag It Tuesday week too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I get so nervous when it comes time to doing this. So, so nervous. Okay, here we go. Ah, I love giving things away. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Who do I have? Dun, 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 dun. Tammy Burson. You are the next mini art challenge prize winner. All right, girl, I have your envelope. I have everything sitting and waiting. So uh, I will more than likely forget it when I leave today. Because <laughs> uh, it's going to be later, but I will get it if it's not in the mail today, or it'll be after five o'clock. So if it's not in the mail today, it'll be in the mail tomorrow. Okay, so yay, Tammy Burson. Awesome girl. Awesome. You... <laughs> I drew your name. Way to go. The top 10 contributors is something that I can pull up in our group. It means that you're sharing photos. It means that you are commenting on your creative sister's um, art. It means you're encouraging others. It means that you are helping answer questions. There's a lot of mixed media or art journaling questions that happen in there. Nope, but didn't it say it's Burson? I know there are two. It's Burson. There is a Tammy Burson and a Tammy Benson. Yep. <laughs> so, um, yes, yes, yes. Um, that's how the top contributor, that's so it auto populates those people that have done the most. It tells me exactly how many posts they've done, how many comments, how many hearts, likes, all the things, right? It gives us all the information there. And so if you were in the top 10, I put you in. And we did this uh, four times, so there's there's or three or four times, I can't even remember now, worth of things in here. I just put Tammy's back in. That was a mistake. Is it right here? Nope. I'll dig it back out. <laughs> uh, that is how uh, your name got put into the pot. Now, like I said, for the IROC challenge, because there is nothing better. Let me just tell you, this morning... When I opened Facebook and went into the group and I started scrolling, seeing your beautiful faces with your art. I mean, your smiles are so genuine. Your, uh, you, your eyes are sparkling and you should be proud. Like I said, even if you did two prompts, girl, take your picture, take a selfie with your two little cards in front of you and say, I rock because you do, you do. Doing a little bit of art is a huge, huge milestone. All right? So don't forget that. Please don't ever forget that. Tomorrow, okay, so tonight I will do the I Rock winner. Tomorrow the workshop is going to come out for the mini art journals. And it's Tag It Tuesday. That's crazy insane. Um... And then you're going to also see there's another thing. November, we'll get into it a little bit more tomorrow. But you know what November brings? November brings one year of Sugar Hill Creatives. Last year on Thanksgiving, I opened it. I said, okay, I'm going to try this. And I have had the best and most amazing beta group of women that have helped me and stuck with me and gone on all the rocky, um, all the rocky, whatchamacallit, ups and downs of tr running a membership through a Facebook group. It is opening again on Thanksgiving. I'm opening the doors for those that want to come and join. You want to dig a little bit deeper than what we do here, um, you know, with Art Snacks and Tag It Tuesday. Things are going to change anyways. Um, and I'm And I'm bringing on a new... Uh, holder. It's either going to be Teachable or Kajabi. So everything will be 
easy, easy to find, organized. It'll be lovely. We'll still have the group. We'll still have Facebook and the group and all of that so that there's, con con you know, conversations between each other and sharing all the art. Um, but that's another big, ex exciting, very exciting um, part to sugar help <laughs> creatives. So, so excited for that to happen as well. November is a busy month. It's an exciting month and it's a month of journaling. <laughs> so get your little book made. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do six by six. You can do teeny tiny. You can do anything you want. Um, did I see somebody say that they, um, oh, Cassie, look at it, girl. If you look, when you look, you'll see that my picture, like when I took my selfie, I did this. If you have them in a book already, just take a picture like this with your book in your hand. Okay? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, and then, again, workshop is coming tomorrow as well well and I'm very excited about that very very excited that's gonna be in a separate Facebook group it's three days the 8th the 9th and the 10th um, every day I'll be live for just a quick little video some uh, Q&A if you have any just a quick something and then there will be um, a pre-recorded video that's going to upload into the Facebook group so that you it allows me to focus you can comment and ask questions and anything else that you need to do throughout that. You can watch it as many times as you want and we don't have to worry about any interruptions or funky things happening if I go live. So that's why I'm doing a live in the morning to kind of talk about what I'm using and what's going on and then you'll have the video tutorial already pre-recorded, okay? And then it's kind of pretty typical that I do a giveaway when I do a workshop. So there's probably going to be a giveaway. I, it's not a probably. It's it it's an absolutely it is. So there's that. I think I covered everything. I went 11 minutes over. I am sorry, but I hope your Monday is going fabulous. I hope you're enjoying everything. Now remember, if you put together your little journal, get it posted in the free group. Get it posted in there. Let me um let me see if I can put it in there right now. Sometimes it just lets me. No, nope. it might not let me. I know most of you are over there. Nope, it's not gonna let me right now. That's okay. I'll get it in here. And I'll do the link for the little book making kit. And have fun. Okay, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have a cover. You don't have to have any. You just put a little journal together. Just put, this is the simplest, but this, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. What type of paper is your journal? Um, mixed media paper. I just actually, and if you go back, you'll see, I just use my mixed media, 90 pound Canson, right? It's eight pages. Um, I didn't, my, my 140 pound watercolor paper was gonna be too thick, too much. Um, and I happen to know and love mixed media paper and know that it's gonna hold up just fine for what I have planned here. The outside is Bristol. So it's just a little bit smoother, a little bit heavier weight, um, but a completely different feel. So outside is the Bristol. You know, it doesn't have to be. It can be anything on the outside. Like I said, a cereal box works wonderful for the outside of a journal. It really does. Um, these aren't, it's just a cute little journal that, you know, you're going to end up putting on your shelf. You'll have some fun things. I recommend keeping these until you decide what you're doing. Unless you absolutely have made journals before and you know exactly what you want to do. Just leave these sitting here until, you know. You get done. I, I typically don't decorate the whole outside of a journal until the end. I don't know why. I know many of you love to get right in there and decorate the cover first. I have, I, I guess I have, um, what do I have besides, <laughs> besides ADD? I have, um, commitment issues <laughs> to the outside of journals. It's the weirdest thing. 
it's the weirdest thing. I have some fellow, fellow artists that don't believe that about me, but it's true. Okay, that's it. I didn't forget anything, did I? You're gonna have the prompts cover fear. Yeah, commitment issues is really what it is, Lori. Uh, you're gonna have November prompts tonight. I rock winner tonight. Tomorrow you have the workshop and tag it Tuesday. All right. If you take a bit, if you if you make one, get it posted in there. All right, guys. I will see you later. Thank you so much for joining today in Art Snacks, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.